Hello, my name is Greg Michalowski. I'm with FXDD, and this is the Wednesday, June 23rd uh, Forex Commentary for FX Street. Every once in a while, there's a, a there's a period where the uh, key technical levels kind of match up in a lot of different currency pairs, and today is one of those days. We had some much worse than expected data come out of the U.S. in the form of the new home sales, record low levels, uh, month supply up to 8.5 uh, months, uh, and uh, prices down uh, to uh, low levels as well. I think going back to 2003, uh, all of this uh, is weighing on some of the risk currency pairs. We're actually seeing a bit in, in the dollar um, and uh, also into the yen. Uh, we're seeing the yen and get uh, stronger on the back of uh, the, uh, the the weaker data and the think and the thinking that the global uh, situation isn't all that great so what I thought I'd do is take a look at some of the key uh, technical levels uh, that are being tested in some of the major currency pairs and we'll start off by taking a look at the dollar versus Canada the dollar versus Canada has been below the hundred day moving average just this blue line right here and the market uh, over the last few days has been able to move uh, higher starting off yesterday uh, on the back of uh, some comments from uh, Bank of Canada officials uh, in regard to uh, the uh, weakness of the U.S. economy uh, on exports and also the strength of the, the Canadian dollar uh, and its effect on the export market uh, kind of counterbalanced uh, some of the strength that we're seeing in the Canadian do dollar. And as a result, we saw that rally start yesterday uh, and today that continued with uh, weaker than expected retail sales out of Canada, which helped push the market um, Further to the upside, uh, we broke through the 100-day moving average, and we went up and tested the 200-day moving average. This 200-day moving average is a green line in the chart that comes in at 104.33. It is a daily chart. Uh, the current price trade 104.42. Uh, we did move above that level, uh, but trading up to 104.58. But what is going to be key uh, here today is a closing level on the dollar versus Canada. If we're able to break, stay above that level, uh, that 33 level, we should see uh, further moves uh, to the upside with the potential of a move up back up toward this. 105 uh, level, which is the 38.2% retracement. Let's move up from uh, the April low to the uh, high. We can also put in a Fibonacci actually from the uh, high uh, in, uh, uh, in, in May to the low. And the 50% uh, retracement comes in at 10495 uh, level, uh, so that um, also uh, corresponds uh, that that one is a more better target level uh, for the uh, dollar versus Canada, given this mo uh, most recent move to the downside. So stay above 10433, uh, 10495 becomes the next target level. Staying on the commodity currency pairs, uh, the Aussie versus US dollar on a daily chart uh, has been rebounding. We went up and tested the 61.8% retracement a few days ago. Uh, that high came. In at 8858 uh, the 61.8 comes in 8883 so we got within smelling distance of it uh, but uh, this uh, this move to the upside has been pretty dramatic one two three four five you know probably about 10 straight days to the upside now we're seeing some uh, pressure uh, to the downside in the Aussie versus US dollar taking a look at the hourly chart with the key level here uh, that we're watching uh, is this 200 hour moving average this 200 hour moving average comes in at 8660 and the market low today, 86.60. Um, sometimes when the when these uh, markets go right down uh, to the key level and bounce, it gives the market even more confidence uh, to uh, to buy dips against that level, and that's what we probably see uh, now that the market is trading 86.87. Um, the the, um, the the uh, failure to take out this 200-hour moving average um, may weigh on the market and the cause uh, more of a rally and more of a technical rally. Now, what we need to get through on the top side in order to uh, get the market even more excited is this 87.11 area, uh, this low, this this was a high uh, that we saw last week, high here. Uh, we found some support against that level. Uh, and so we're going to be watching 87.11 if we're able to get back above that uh, look for it. Uh, further short covering uh, with a move toward the 100 hour moving average. If we can't, uh, if we stall, uh, and, uh, we could see later on uh, pressure in the Aussie versus US dollar and another test of the 200 hour moving average. A break of that would target this level, 85.82, where we had these lows, uh, and the 85.61 level, which is the 38.2% retracement of the move up from this low uh, to the high here. Uh, let's look at the uh, euro versus US dollar uh, on a um, uh, daily basis, uh, we we have this uh, channel here that was uh, uh, forming forming here off of these top these bottoms and this top. Uh, we broke above that level, uh, went to this uh, 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 
124.51 level uh, actually moved moved a little bit above that level on Monday's opening, uh, and but uh, have been down down ever since. Uh, so that that uh, move uh, to the uh, downside and back within this channel uh, keeps uh, the market pressured uh, to the downside. Now uh, looking at the uh, 100, uh, the hourly chart here. What is key level here is the 122.41 level. Look at, back to this day right here. We had a low at that level. We had a low against the uh, trend line uh, and against the 100-hour moving average at the 122.41 level on the uh, 17th. We had a, a low that came down t uh, toward that level uh, on the uh, on the 22nd. Uh, earlier today, we came down to the tw uh, 41 level and bounced off that level. And uh, now, we, now that we've broken down below that 41 level, we're going to be looking to make sure or to see if the market can stay below the 122.41 level. If it's able to stay below that level, then we should see further pressure in the euro dollar, perhaps toward this 50% level. This is of the move up from the June low to the June high. The midpoint comes in at 121.72, and that's also where these uh, are in the area of these lows uh, that occurred on uh, June 14th and June 15th, respectively. Uh, taking a look at the sterling versus uh, the U.S. dollar um, on a, um, a daily chart. Um, if you take a look at these uh, highs here, uh, this high from uh, January, uh, this high in April, uh, and we went and tested that high uh, t uh, Monday. Uh, today we broke through that high level or this uh, trend line uh, at the 149.09 level. We reached a, a high of 149.40. Uh, if I zoom in, you can actually see that a little bit closer. Uh, but the market has uh, uh, failed above that line that line again the line actually comes in at 149 uh, looks like uh, 149.15 uh, so as long as the price can remain below 149.15 uh, the bias uh, may, may be to more to the downside here for the sterling versus US dollar if it's able to break above this and close above this on a daily basis we could see a move toward the 150.56 that's a hundred day moving average in the sterling versus US dollar the market's been below that hundred day moving average um, since going back here to uh, January of a uh, 19th of 2010 so a significant significant level uh, just above uh, at again the 150 56 level in the uh, sterling versus US dollar take a look at the five minute chart uh, uh, from an intraday perspective uh, what is key here is how the market held the 100 and 200 bar moving average that's this blue and green line when the two moving averages converge that's what I call three is a crowd uh, that means that the price and two moving averages are converging uh, and one of them has to move away uh, you know two company three is a crowd and it always is a price we trended to the upside but since that time the market has moved below the hundred uh, bar moving average in the five minute chart tested the 200 at 148.52 just like uh, we saw in the Aussie versus US dollar when the market is able to hold a 200 uh, hour uh, bar moving average on a chart uh, it often gives uh, buyers uh, or sellers um, either either or either new buyers down here or, uh, or or those people who are short the market a reason to buy back their short uh, and now the market has moved back up to the hundred bar moving average at 148.92 uh, we're going to have to get above 148.92 in order to propel uh, the market more to the upside here in the sterling versus US dollar in which case we could see another test of the highs for the day if we're if not able to get above that level uh, then look for sellers against this level uh, with another test of the 200 another test of the 61.8 of today's trading range uh, That and a break of that uh, uh, both these levels uh, should lead to further pressure in the sterling versus U.S. dollar on the failure. Um, and uh, so uh, we're looking for a break either to the upside or the downside uh, as a result of staying what I call in between our goalposts, in between our 100 bar moving average and our 200 bar moving average. The final pair I want to take a look at uh, is the dollar versus Swiss. Uh, dollar Swiss, Swiss has been in a trending market ever since the market was non-trending up here. How do I know it's non-trending? We'll look at the 100 and the 200 hour moving average. What are they doing going sideways? What does that suggest? That suggests that the market is non-trending when the market started to break to the downside here. We stayed below that 100 bar moving average and 200 bar moving average, testing on this day, failing on this day on the break to the upside, uh, and it's been down ever since. Uh, this uh, trend uh, is coming to an end in this period right here where the market consolidates uh, and uh, has been consolidating, and today we broke above uh, the uh, 100 uh, 
hour moving average uh, down here uh, and went up and test is currently testing uh, the 111 or did test the 111.36 level that it was the high uh, price for the week uh, unfortunately the market or unfortunately for the bulls the market did not get through that level and the market is back down to at the 111.10 level uh, we have to stay above the blue line stay above the 100 at bar moving average of 110.93 in order to keep the bullishness but in the same token we need to get above of this 111.36 level uh, to help propel the market up toward uh, the 200 hour moving average up here at the 112.25 level uh, that would be the ultimate uh, tar or the next target uh, for the dollar Swiss on a break of this 111.36 but we need to get through those levels so you see folks uh, we have we have a lot of technical levels here uh, that you can uh, hang your hat on that you can trade against that you can use as either uh, support or resistance uh, if you follow these technical levels you'll keep your risk to a minimum uh, and if the market should bounce or go, go through these levels uh, look for momentum in the direction of the breaks uh, look for uh, and uh, if you get that momentum uh, then look down the, look down the road look for the targets look for those uh, points where the, the market will next go to this is Greg Michaloski with a look at uh, some of the key currency pairs here and some of the key technical levels